In the year 1855, England and France were at war with Russia in the Crimea. The English troops were paid in gold. Once a month, 25,000 pounds in gold was loaded into strong boxes inside the London bank of Huddleston and Bradford and taken by trusted armed guards to the railway station. The convoy followed no fixed route or timetable. At the station, the gold was loaded into the luggage van of the Folkestone train for shipment to the coast and from there to the Crimea. The strong boxes were placed in two specially built chub safes constructed of three quarter inch tempered steel. Each safe weighed 550 pounds. Each safe was fitted with two locks requiring two keys or four keys altogether. For security, each key was individually protected. Two keys were entrusted to the railway dispatcher who kept them locked in his office. A third was in the custody of Mr. Edgar Trent, president of the Huddleston and Bradford. And the fourth key was given to Mr. Henry Fowler, manager of the Huddleston and Bradford Bank. The presence of so much gold in one place naturally aroused the interests of the English criminal elements. But in 1855, there had never been a robbery from a moving railway train. Is he dead? Mm. Robbery!